Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy, Just a Peasant. Today you're tuned in to JP Clash, where we watch videos to be a better clasher. We're going to do another tutorial on Golaloon. The first tutorial was uh, a Town Hall 9 edition. This is going to be a Town Hall 10. Um, and we're going to have a look at the first attack here, done by Allard against number 6 of Johor Gold Star. Allard here is going to show us um, how to go to Loon, uh, Town Hall 10 base with Inferno Towers. So with Inferno Towers, you might want to consider bringing a um, freeze spell. You can have one or two freeze, depending on how your strategy is like. Um, but basically, you want to stack on those haste spells. Haste guys are just the balloon's best dream. Um, you don't want... <laughs> best best dream you don't want to um, use rage too much because uh, balloons already deal a ton of damage by themselves um, so you just want them to move fast because balloons are, mo are very slow haste also moves um, balloons faster than rage um, and you only bring rage at specific times where you might have or you 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 think that you're gonna have a very thin amount of balloons at hard to reach places such as the core of the base so let's just say if this core of the base has all the teslas in the middle as well as some of these um, towers in the middle um, you might not you you might not be able to get as many balloons into the core as you like because they need to travel a far distance that's when you use rage because then you actually need your balloons to deal that extra more damage Okay, so we're gonna have a look at this attack. And if you watch my uh, previous attack, the uh, golem consists of a kill squad at the start. The kill squad is either one or two golems. Um, and the kill squad has to take the queen out, has to take clan castle troops out, as well as take out at least one um, of these air defense towers. We're gonna see uh, Alad use one golem here. So he's just gonna aim for one air defense tower. If you're aiming for two air defense towers, if they're a little bit close together, let's say, um, then you can drop two golems because sometimes you need to tank a little bit more. Plus, if you take out two air defense towers, you can bring one less uh, lava hound. So a golem and lava hound kind of match, kind of um, swap there. Drops that balloon first because he knows that there is a Tesla over there. Now he's going to drop that um, golem and a giant. So why does he need the giant over here? Obviously, because he's going to break the, that wall in the middle there opts to break the ball in the middle so that he can have his troops go in the middle this way take that um, air defense tower out and also can drop that poison to both poison the um, clan castle troops as well as that archer queen so as you can see here in his kill squad all he has is a golem a king a queen and some wizards that somehow make their way to the middle because his wizards were only used as um, as a, a funnel there so as you can see, the king goes ahead and takes out the queen. Takes out the king, almost takes out the king as well. Um, and the archer queen is going to go ahead, use her ability, and take out the air defense tower. So now that the air defense tower has taken down, actually this area is quite good as well um, to take out because because Allied has taken out this much of the towers over here. When you drop the balloons, the balloons will go straight into that um, inferno tower much easily. So here we go. Drops the uh, haste down first. It's going to drop. The, those um, um, uh, lava hounds to tank um, and the balloons being using that rage as um, as, as I mentioned earlier the rage is used very sick um, in special special circumstances when um, you really need to take out those um, buildings ASAP uh, so over here you can probably use a rage over here as well because then you see how how few the balloons balloons are you don't have many balloons here to take out these Tesla towers, so sometimes you might want to drop a rage here instead of haste, because then you might not have enough firepower from the balloons itself if you just use ray, um, haste. There we go. So if you did not see, he just dropped all this haste spell over here, just literally dropped balloons from down here all the way up to this side and uh, surgically dropping that balloon so as you can see so many more balloons still alive and that lava hound unfortunately doesn't get taken out 
Yep, the lava hound doesn't get taken out. So unfortunately, the lava hound is not going to pop, and you're gonna, um, his his uh, lava pups is not going to contribute to the cleaning up of this phase. But basically, there's no more towers left, as you can see, and uh, those balloons almost pop, <laughs> almost died there as well. But uh, yeah, gonna drop all those minions to to help clean the base up, and uh, just fast forward this, and this is just going to be a very smooth and easy win. So there you go. That's how you um. You Gola Loon a Town Hall 10. We're gonna watch about two other videos here and we're gonna fast forward to the next one because the next one is also the same base but with a slightly different strategy. So let's have a look here. Also has the king and queen and golem is going to do the exact same thing but this time the uh, Tesla is not down here. So the Tesla, all four Tesla is going to be here in the middle, I think. Anyway, it goes ahead and drop the drops that golem, um, wizards to clear, um, wall breaker to break, and there we go. Uh, the poison is gonna uh, affect the queen as well at the same time, so that's gonna reduce all the the damage output of the enemy. Goes ahead and pops the um king king ability, and as you can see here, very similar attack, very similar result. But the wall breaker here instead of the middle here. I think I quite prefer the the wall breakers to break this part of the um walls, um because then you you almost guarantee that that um edit offense tower goes down. Also, you almost guarantee that the um the uh inferno tower is easily assessed by your um balloons. So as we can see here, um angelic ops to bring five rage. I mean five rage is a lot as well um uh, uh so you know uh it's going to bring two rage there instead so i think he's going to drop his first rage here to help probably not has enough balloons balloons actually last quite long against those um inferno towers inferno towers don't take balloon take out don't take max balloons out that quickly and then as you can see here if you don't have too many balloons and that's where you drop the rage because your balloon numbers are so thin that you actually need uh, a few balloons to take out as many. As you can see, there's only two or three balloons left. And finally gets gets uh, takes out that Tesla Tower in the middle. So the Tesla Tower, sorry, the Rage actually helps in the middle there. Instead of haste, if you had haste, you might not have enough damage um, to take out those uh, hard to reach places of the base. Usually th those places are the core. So very similar result here, as you can see this time, the um, Lava Hound is also, two Lava Hounds are live still, so sometimes it's just depending on if they if they step on enough traps or not. Um, but yeah, as you can see, very, very similar attack, very, very similar result. Um, and Jelly actually doesn't have in, as many minions as uh, uh, Allard had at the start. We're going to go ahead and fast forward that. So we can see one more attack on different base design. There we go. And the next base design is going to be this one. This one actually has a slightly different base design. Also a Town Hall 10 with those Inferno Towers. Um, what Sui is going to do here, he is going to drop two Golems. Oops, sorry. Okay. There we go. Um, two golems are going to go in. He's going to try and take out these two air defense towers. Um, he's going to bring a few more uh, wizards as well. The wizards are going to help funnel as well as do some damage. Because um, they're gonna, he's going to need a, a little bit more damage if he's going to try and take out two air defense towers. So as you can see, queen, king as well as the um, air clan castle troops. They all go down very, very easily, very, very quickly because of their position here. So if you see a position like this, then you might want to... Um, consider using Gola Loon. We're gonna fast forward here a little bit. The King still has his ability. He's gonna pop the ability later to help take the air defense tower out. The Queen comes at the back as well. Does not get stuck over here, which is very good. Um, and there we go. The Queen has taken out the second air defense tower. So at this stage, it's gonna drop that um, balloons. The balloons are gonna go to the middle, and I'm quite sure he's gonna use the rage. There we go. Because again. Rage, uh, pretty good to be used in the middle here. Drops that freeze, but I don't think he really needs to freeze anyway. That Rage is going to be able to take out that those balloons. I mean, those um those uh, Inferno Towers. So there we go. Still has the Lava Hound. The Lava Hound is doing some tanking. It's got balloons in, uh, out still as well. And that's going to be quite safe. 
quite smooth. The Air Archer Queen still alive as well from the initial attack. And there we go, guys. This is again another very smooth attack um, using Gola Loon for a Town Hall 10. So guys, I hope you enjoyed what you see, uh, what what you've seen so far. If you enjoyed yourself, uh, please leave a thumbs up, and uh, stay tuned for more videos like this.